welcome back. Today we are off to a beach called Ili Iligan. Is that really what it's called though? That's what the guy just said. We thought it sounded really well, so we were like Ilig Iligan. But it, I don't know how to say it. But uh, supposedly it's really nice. It's just started raining, but it doesn't really last that long here in the Philippines. So it'll be bright and sunny before you know it. Good boy. So last night we went out for some drinks with our new Aussie mates that we met. Nice, we had a little chill. If you're wondering why I've still got this scatty beard, it's because I left my shaver at home. Well, I've got a razor now, so I'll have a shave later. Yeah, like the old posh view later. So this is our last day at Barakai. Tomorrow we leave for Cebu. So we're making the most of it, going to a beach for a long chill. We have arrived. Oh my God, just look at this beach though. It's absolutely incredible. I wish we'd found this sooner. So nice. Look at the colour of that water. Mental. You just can't believe it. So we've got these two beds for a day. It cost us 250 pesos with a drink. A little mango shake. So we're going to chill here for the day. There's a little cove over here I'm going to try and swim to. The game you? Yeah, I'll get like a little rubber ring to help me along. <laughs> What a spot, kid. This is what I picture when I picture the Philippines. White sand, green ocean, and just banging weather. We already, like, we've already went out of suntan lotion, so we got this. It was £10. So bring lots when you can. I know, we got some in home bargains for like a quid and we wish we bought more. I know. <laughs> nice little bikini, babe, one of 5,000. So it's not actually set. But it goes all right, doesn't it? Looks I nice. think when I have strap mats today, I need to tan, man. It's just not happening. My back's sore. I'm going to be the little fat kid again today and try and get in the shade and stop burns. <laughs> Runner beans, but in this just it insane sauce. I don't know what it is. I need to ask him for the recipe, but it's bloody good. Where is it from? Smoke. Smoke restaurant. Do we, do we get food from anywhere else? It is our go to place. Not a bad little backdrop for your little butternut squash, is it, fam? No, it isn't. <laughs> so, this is the spot for the day. It's just pure chilling. There's not a lot of vlogging happening just because when you're on a beach there's not a lot to do apart from relax and read and shit so hope you enjoy the scenes. Jimmy's made a new friend. <laughs> Look at this boy? guy. There's a girl. You love me. We're going to call him Snow White. She's beautiful. Okay, secret mission time. We're going to go and find the little lagoon. We've got our bags and our flip flops ready. We've got way too much stuff. <laughs> like, we, we took the drone up earlier, so we're like, don't want to leave our bags. We'll probably get nicked. And we've got all the tripod friggin' hammock with us and the kitchen sink. But um, we're going on a mission. <laughs> We found a cove and we're gonna go in it. I wouldn't usually mind leaving my stuff, but last time we were at that, when we were at Dinny with Beach, I left a black king in a hat attached to my, well, just by my towel, and one of the little kids nicked it. Little oh, shit. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna find him and I'm gonna hit him because no one else is gonna have one on this island. I know. But so we know it's definitely ours because we had a maid, like, is that a logo? 
let's go find this cove. All right then, how long is it going to take? Five minutes. But we've got to walk, yeah? Yeah. Great. Amy's saying we should have brought the hot tunas. 100% great. We brought them for this exact reason. You're actually probably right. They would have been good for this. And there's no one around, so I wouldn't look like a whopper. We're going to find a spot now, kid. Shape of this kid. Eight to track. Don't worry about helping me or nothing. I'm holding the camera. Why are you walking like a weirdo? Stand up straight. I've got shit balance. <laughs> Thanks to that view though. Woo! Look at that private little cove. Amazing! There's no one here, probably because it's quite hard to get to. That's even beautiful. This is the stuff I love about travelling. Just finding these little hidden gems. I know, it was this tiny track, like anyone could get you, if I can get you oh in a God. pair of like soggy flip-flops, then so can you. Amy was a nightmare getting here, but I always tell her, I'm like, trust me, and we'll have a good time. It's not even about the Do you end have a good destination, time? Do you have a good time? it's about getting there. And we always have to climb bloody mountains and hills to just do whatever Craig I'm wants so to do. I'm so grateful, there'd be so many people who would love- I'd be grateful if you carried me. So many people would love my company and to take it, you know, to come to these special places. <laughs> I had a great time, thanks. <laughs> She's gonna moan all the way back now. Here she goes, Indiana Bannister. Party people, we're on our way out. He's got the stand up paddle board. We managed to haggle it for 150 pesos for half an hour. The guy was like, Yeah, um, the, the minimum payment is 500. And we were like, ha, Mate, no. So we got him down to 150, but we're gonna do like a sunset, a little sunset stand up paddle board. It's gonna be lush. Are you excited? Let's do it. So that is it for our adventures in Boracay. We've had a wicked time here. I've had a great time. It's been so fun. Helmet diving was incredible. Best thing ever. The beaches were awesome. I think, not that we don't know how to say it still, but illa, illa giggling? <laughs> <laughs> illa giggling. That one was the best. <laughs> illa giggling, I think it's called. It was really cool. Top beach with a little hidden cone. Yeah. So to round up Boracay, I just say, yes, it is touristy, but there's always a reason why touristy stuff is touristy, because it's good. Um, I would say prices are probably a little bit more higher than anywhere else we're gonna go, just because of that reason. But people are lovely, you know, everyone, even the street hawkers helped us when we couldn't find our hostel. It's good, isn't it? There's, it's a, there's, awesome. a, there's a vibe around it. Yeah, it's nice. Definitely worth coming to see. Look at that sunset, man. You can't beat that. That is pretty good. So if you're new, thanks so much for hanging around with us and please click subscribe. So you can start kinging it yourself. It doesn't matter what you'll be kinging it at, just make sure you do it freaking wickedly. Okay, and remember, rule your own world. Oh yeah, PS, next stop Cebu. One, two, three, bye. bye.